just in case you guys haven't noticed. So, if anybody, like I said, decides to watch this in the future, and I don't know why you would do that, you will see how incompetent I am. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change my, uh, my, uh, my title of my streams to, you know, Mexicano in Wisconsin is live, teaching the world how not to Twitch or how not to live stream. So yeah, so really I'm so bad at this that I actually become popular, right? That would be the thing. So this shows I'm live, I think. How do I know if it's live or not? I hope I'm live. I don't know. I don't know yet my live. If you can see me, show it. Oh no, I got rid of the chat. There's the chat. Open the chat. How do I open the chat? Show chat. Show chat. There we go. Oh yeah, can you tell me if I'm live or not? Because I can't see if I'm live or not. Well, we'll see. If it's live, it's live. If it's not, so it's just live. Uh, so anyway, so yeah. So welcome for a walk. Check out the new trestle. Well, this is some obviously some road construction they're doing here in Appleton. Uh, one of the parks of Luton, Wisconsin, is that you get... Um, you have two seasons. You have winter season and you have road construction season. Because since we don't have good weather for most of the year, or for about half the year, the crews have to get road construction done like real quick during the time that it works. All right, so. Don't know if this is still working or not. I'm gonna pause for a second here. Oh. Oh, it says again, Charles. oh, there you go, Analia is there. Charles woke up again, or is this going back to the old one, Analia? I don't know. So anyway, so yeah, so... Uh-oh, where is my phone? Oh yeah, my, my watch just told me that I'm going for a walk. Nice to know that technology is telling me what to do. Um, again, thank you, Analia, for letting me know that I had dropped off. Hopefully I'm back up and working. You know, Ali, I actually sent a message via Instagram to like my siblings and a couple of the nephews and nieces in case they're up and they want to see this. I don't see why they would want to see it, but you know, one of the beauties of getting up a little bit early and going for a walk somewhat early is that there's not many people to watch this and make fun of me. At least people that I know. Okay, thumbs up. That means that I am broadcasting. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, actually, I was, as I was saying earlier, the kiddos are with me this weekend, but, num well, number one lives in California. Number two, stay at a friend's house, I think. Number three, stay at a friend's house after soccer practice. So I actually haven't seen him since Wednesday. And number four is with her friend camping somewhere uh, west of here, in the middle of somewhere, out of the middle of Wisconsin. So last night, number five was with me and didn't really do anything. I mean, we did, we were gonna go out to eat dinner since it was just the two of us. We were gonna go to Chipotle and then Chick-fil-A, ended up eating leftovers. Um, and then last night I couldn't sleep for whatever reason. I think I'm a little bit stressed out from work. I don't know. But I kept on having dreams that kept me awake. Um, and then Gracie kept on coming to my room and to check the time with my phone. And it's like, go to bed, child. So she actually woke up with me this morning around 5.20. Oh, how did you live life end before? I think it got disconnected earlier. I don't think I meant to do it. Um, no, so great. Yeah, so I was saying Grace had a. She kept on waking up in the middle of the night. She was kind of a pain because she kept on coming to my room and checking the time with her phone. And then she woke up with me at five five thirty in the morning, and I said, "Well, is it 
you're not going to be, you know, using electronics right now. You need because you weren't sleeping last night. So she actually came downstairs with me and sat on a chair by me when I was drinking my coffee and checking, you know, my emails and my social accounts and doing all their stuff. And she ended up falling asleep on the chair. So when I left for my walk, she was asleep on her chair on the chair. Those of you who know Grace, Grace tends to sleep in weird places. Or tends to fall asleep in weird places. So yeah, she fell asleep on the chair. So over here for posterity, there's Pierce Park here in Appleton. Um, sometimes when organizations have events like festivals, uh, they have they host them here in Pierce Park. Actually, I, there's a uh, uh, it's called it's there's a an organization here, a charity organization for you know, you know that works in promoting Hispanic culture. It's called Casa Hispana, and they have something called Latino Fest every year. And I've participated on that in the past, you know, through work. And actually, last year won the jalapeno eating contest um, and yeah that happened here in Pierce Park so my kids when the, the way I'm doing this in case you're wondering is that I, I bought in at Walmart some uh, contraption that you can put your phone well anyway so it's like this bar that goes around your neck and then it goes in front of you and you can put you can put your phone in front of you and it's useful that you can like if you're watching you know like you're laying in bed or or sitting up in bed or sitting on a chair and you want to see videos on your phone you don't have to hold it you just put it in there it claps in and you can watch stuff in the video so what i did is that i have that and obviously you know it, the camera is pointing forward. I do mostly that for your sake. I don't think you guys want to see me. And uh, and yeah, so that's how I do it. But so I'm walking around with this thing on my neck. Looks kind of weird, and especially because I'm talking. So do I look kind of weird walking around like this? Yeah. But if you know me, I'm kind of a weird person to begin with. So Well, you are watching me on my walk. Hey, I never said I was entertaining or interesting or good at this. Analia is making fun of me. Analia Lopez is making fun of me because I'm horrible at this. But it's kind of therapeutic. Therapeutic. It's good for me because I can kind of say stuff that I think out loud and get out of my system sometimes. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk bad about anyone. More well, maybe Analia, maybe my kids. I like making fun of my kids. Um, oh, so what's going on in my life? Yeah. So my oldest, who is in California, he is uh, supposed to graduate college um, at the end of this month. Technically, he has one more class to go. So he's not going to technically finish until December, but it's just one class. Um, but he, uh, but because of COVID-19, graduation ceremony was canceled. It's a small university to begin with. He goes to, uh, that he goes to in, in the San Diego area, greater San Diego area. And, uh, he, uh, so his graduation got canceled. So we're not going to California. So I bought tickets to see my folks down in South Texas. And then, of course, we get an email last week saying, oh, we're going to have the opportunity, we're going to provide graduates the opportunity to have individual pictures taken with their families, you know, please reserve a time to do it. And it's like, yeah, well, I already bought tickets to go to South Texas. So, well, good thing I'm not just watching this, but, well, because he's in California times so over there, it's what, 5.30 in the morning, almost 6? So, yeah, he's definitely not going to be up. Um, but yeah, so, so I think we're going to have to arrange something 
for him. Oh, here comes some motorcycles. One thing about Wisconsin that most of you might not know is that it's the it's the place for where Harley Davidsons. It's the place where the motorcycle Harley Davidsons are produced or are manufactured. That's where the company started down in the Milwaukee area. So when the weather is nice or somewhat nice, people do go for uh, for motorcycle rides. Oh, I know you it's a good thing that no one's watching you on your walk outside. Well, you know, again, it is what it is. So can I walk here? Yeah, there's nobody coming. All right, boys and girls, that says not to not to cross the street, but I'm going crossing the street because I'm a troublemaker. Here comes some guy jogging. I need to get jogging shoes because the jogging shoes that I had are pretty much dead. The ones that I'm using right now to uh, to walk. Morning. But I need new shoes because. I also get shin splints, so I have to stretch and they're being very flexible. Oh, so last time, I don't know if I went through here. So this here, this house here is the, the Hearthstone. It's a museum. If I remember correctly, it's either the first house or the first building in the United States or the first building in, United, or in Wisconsin that... Um, obtain its electric power through hydroelectric means. And uh, Leah just wrote wheel. I don't know. I mean, she meant to say well, not sure. Um, I also don't know what the, uh, what's the, the time between I say something, uh, the lag time between when I say something and you hear it. So, yeah, maybe when you answer something that I'm saying, by that time I already moved on and I can't remember it is what, I, what it is that I said. So, I, I'm gonna try to walk mostly through residential areas today. So there's not so much noise, uh, or car noise or what have you. But we'll see what happens. Wheel? Wheel with electricity? No, it's hydroelectric, yeah. It... Well, anyways. I don't know, I mean, I'm... I didn't grow up here, so I just know things from what my kids tell me or what I read sometimes. But I did not grow up in Wisconsin, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to... Oh, here comes a lady, she's gonna think I'm weird, but haha, I'm gonna go down the stairs, so she won't... She won't hear me talking. That way, Analia will not be embarrassed by her dad. Oh, but as I'm going downstairs, there's people down there walking. So I'm going right now. I'm going to be close to the Fox River. And at some point, I'm actually going to cross it, hopefully more than once. So you guys will probably hear as I walk. I say it while you are talking about it, just to see it later. Okay, I'm not really sure what you mean by that, Analia, but okay, I will trust you in that. Oh, I can only go one way. So I prevented myself from being ridiculed by one woman, and here comes another one with a dog, so she'll ridicule me, but that's fine. Oops. Morning. Not very friendly, but that's okay. She probably guessed what I was... This here is Fratello's restaurant on the edge of the... Fox Rivers, I heard it's a good place to eat. Bit of an expensive side, but I heard it's good. I've never been. Maybe someday I'll be there. So I'm gonna walk by I'm gonna walk by my work in a little bit. Um, well I know Analia does this, but if people in the future who watch this, uh, I do time lapse videos as well. And usually it's from my place of work to somewhere else that I need to go to so you if you've watched any of my time like video time lapse videos which I hope Analia has and doesn't just play them in the background uh, you might recognize my place of work although since we just moved here about three weeks ago two weeks ago I don't have that many starting from here 
I don't think that I've posted. Oh, one exciting thing, well, that's exciting for me, is that another thing I was going to do today, besides cleaning and dealing with my tax deductions, is um, there's a guy from work who has two uh, drones that he wants to get rid of, and he let me keep them for, well, now a couple of weeks now, so I can try them out. So today, I'm going to try them out and see what happens. Um, see if I can see if I like him. I mean, he's, he's selling them pretty, you know, at a good price, both of them, actually. So I might get both of them. I might offer him a little bit more, just I don't think it's fair to... I mean, the guy's not rolling in money. Neither am I, but, uh, you, know, you know, I don't think I should take advantage of him just because he wants to get rid of him. Oh, one of your oh, good for her. Who's that? One of you, one of you, one of my friends is following you on YouTube. I appreciate that, Analia. Tell her thank you. Uh, tell her that she can play my videos in the background when she's not doing anything or before she goes to sleep, just to play the the, the playlist of videos, just so I can get the the watch hours or the yeah the viewing time. Because for those of you who don't know, if you want to get your YouTube channel monetized. Um, you have to have a thousand people subscribe to your channel and get 4,000 hours of viewing time in the previous 12 months. So I started my channel, I think in April. And so I, I'm up to, this is not very exciting, but 130, I think 138 subscribers and like 200 and change viewing hours. So, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do that anytime soon. It's a him he did it for a joke. Hey, that's fine if he does it for a joke. I don't care. As long as he does not unsubscribe, I don't mind. In fact, if all your friends want to do it just for a joke, that's fine. I am not going to complain. I just have to get to that 1,000 mark, which I probably will not, but... Now I know how to shovel snow. Well, is he not from Wisconsin? Okay, so again, for those of you who might watch this in the future, and I don't know why you would, but whatever. Uh, one of, uh, I live in Wisconsin, we get tons of snow. Ah, oh, that's lovely. People walk their dogs and don't clean their poop after them. That's nice. Jeez, hello. Uh, but yeah, so I live in Wisconsin. It snows a lot, freaking cold for a big chunk of the year. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so yeah, so I have a timeless video of me clearing the, the back part of my driveway. And if this kid is from Wisconsin and it's, you know, your age, so 14, 15, and does not know how to clean up snow, he's got a problem. Okay, yeah, so he's from Wisconsin, he's 14, 15, and he doesn't know how to clear snow. Come on, buddy. Okay, but don't tell him that. I am not complaining. I'm happy he subscribed. I'm happy he's watched videos. Tell him he's, he's welcome to watch videos, leave comments, even if silly comments. Um, and that's fine. Oh, you know what, Analia? I, I was telling, saying earlier, but I think that it, it, it didn't come up because it's when my, my the stream cut off. That um, what was I gonna say? Um, that you and I did a stream the other night. It wasn't a very long stream. It was what I think 15, 20 minutes. It took like six tries for us to get it done. Ah, gee, what was? Guess what I just did? I just stepped on. Dog poo poo. Anyways, um, so I need to post that one in uh, on my on the Twitch channel because it saves on the laptop but not on the not on Twitch. So I have to figure out how to do that with the laptop. Ah, oh, mighty people, clean after your poop after your dogs, and also when you're walking, when you're out for a walk, watch where you're going. And if you're twitching, 
done spend all the time looking at the chat especially when you only have one viewer so like i have a lot of people talking to me on the chat so again for posterity this bridge that i'm walking under right now that's the oneida street uh, bridge it goes north to south city of appleton obviously oneida bridge oneida street named after the oneida tribe um, up in up, you know up somewhere it's it's northern wisconsin something i think the reservation um, so so yeah Nalia, if your friends also want to follow me in, on twitch you know what i should do Nalia? since you're my only viewer i can just talk to you you know talk to the world at large uh, i should also post my twitch on youtube so then your friends can make silly comments um but i'm not going to put it on my mexicano wisconsin account because that's more of a you know time lapse slash immigration oriented videos that car saw you and was like nope oh yeah i saw that is that that car right there i don't know i thought they just missed their exit i'm not that ugly looking i mean i'm not the best looking guy in the in the place but so Analia how late were you guys up last night and who do you go with again you told me in your text message which I guess I could look at but I'm afraid that if I do that I will end this video oh speaking of which when I go through the I'm gonna walk through part of the I think it's called the blue fox trail or something trail um, there might be a lot of people walking slash jogging, so you can hear some people coming this way now. Oh, there's people jogging. Oh, so you see those, these little blue things and these little paw marks on the, on the, on the ground that talks of the the fox river the fox valley something trail so this here used to be some sort of um what do you call it used to be some sort of uh, paper related factory but it's been now uh, repurposed to be a a uh, uh, apartments. Uh, like ten. Oh, with Maddie. Okay, I think I knew that. I think, yeah, I just didn't remember that. So, so right now this is. So that's the Fox River right there. I'm obviously crossing it, but to my right right now there's a building. So. Is it cold out? No, it's uh, according to my watch, it's 70 degrees. Well, I said that earlier, but obviously you have not been in the stream yet. Um, it's, oh, I got two viewers. Welcome to a new viewer. I don't know who you are, but welcome. Feel free to stay around and chat. I'm just walking, talking to Analia Lopez, who happens to be my daughter. She's out with her friends in Western Wisconsin. So welcome to the chat. So yeah, so this is the Fox River. I hear some of the, I think they call them the locks. Hopefully it's not too loud with the wind and the, and the water. So yeah, so just crossing over the Fox River and then I'm actually going to jaywalk right here. And I'm going to use, oh, that other viewer just left. Oh well. This is the Fox River trail or something. I think it has a name somewhere. Well, I don't think it's called at 70 degrees, but then again, some might argue that I have a little layer of fat to protect me from cold. See, here comes more people jogging and walking because this is a place, uh, this is an area a lot of people use for jogging and walking. So hopefully they don't get freaked out because I'm doing this. 
But if they ask, I'll just lie and say, oh, I'm talking to my daughter, which is not a lie. I'm actually talking to you. So they can't complain. I mean, they could complain, but they shouldn't complain. Okay, so here, okay, it's called the Fox Truck Trail. That's what it's called. Oh, it said it had five viewers through at one point. So yeah, so it's called the, the Fox Strait Trail, the Fox Truck Trail. So it goes right next to the Fox River in Appleton, which is quite nice. And I think about half a mile or a little bit less than that up, that's when we're gonna come to the new trestle or little walking slash jogging slash biking bridge over the Fox Valley. It, they said it was supposed to open in August, but I don't know, I'm not sure when in August. Oh, it said I had five viewers at one point. Oh, but that's good. Well, I hope people that stop by enjoy not so much what I say, but at least what they see. As I always say, I have a face for radio and a voice for newspaper. So, okay, so in a trail, I'm supposed to stay on the right side, right? If I'm slow, I stay on the right. Correct, I think so. Something like that. So here's the, the trail. I have no idea. Obviously, there used to be a bridge there at some point. I don't know why, but it used to be there. Might have been a, a railroad bridge, maybe. Because like I said, those brown buildings there used to be some sort of paper mill related uh, structure or building, but they're now apartments. So maybe that used to be some sort of uh, train bridge or railroad bridge, I don't know. And then there on the, on the background there, that building, uh, it's part of the Lawrence University uh, complex. That's the main university or, or the most prestigious university in Appleton. Not disrespect to the Fox Valley uh, Tech or UW Fox Valley Menasha, but I think we will all agree that Lawrence University is the more prestigious one of all those three. And then depending whether or not you consider Oshkosh part of the Fox Valley or not, because Oshkosh has UW Oshkosh, I would say Lawrence may be the bigger one too of the universities here in the Fox Valley. Oop, here comes the lady here walking. Hopefully she wouldn't think I'm a weirdo talking to my phone. But again, I'm talking to my daughter. Or I was, but she's not answering now. Hadalia, why are you not answering me? You make me feel unloved. But I'm not sure. Marco sent me a photo. Are you my, are you my other viewer, Marco? Because it says here you sent me a photo. So if I check my Instagram, would that cut the stream off? Oh, it's raining by you and all. Yeah, it, well, I checked the weather this morning on the radar and they didn't say it was supposed to rain. How bad is it raining over there? Because you're west of me, you're pretty much right west of me. Because I checked where you were this morning. And so if it's raining by you and the wind is going from west to east, that's coming this way. So. So anyway, second viewer, just for your sake, this is Appleton, Wisconsin. It is, I don't know what time it is actually. What time is it? It's 8, 10 in the morning, currently 70 degrees in Appleton, Wisconsin. Saturday, Saturday, August the 8th, of course you knew that. Um, and right now I'm walking by a, uh, a walking trail, a jogging trail here in downtown Appleton. Actually, downtown Appleton will be just across the street from here. Uh, those buildings right there. Uh, it's part of uh, Lawrence University. And then over there, those buildings are just apartment complexes. And then to my right, some sort of industry. Not sure what it is. Not bad, it just started raining over there. Okay, hopefully one thunderstorm because I don't mind getting rain on. I mean, I won't shrink. I won't melt. But if it really starts coming down, that would be a pain in the butt. Okay, so let's see what else. I just keep on walking, just keep walking, just keep walking. For those of you 
yeah, I like to, for those of you who just bought don't know me, and most other than Aliyah, you guys probably don't know me, I like to quiz my kids on movies that we've seen together. So that last part was a misquote of Dory in Finding Nemo. Yeah, I know, I'm lame. I never said I was interesting. That's why I don't show my face. I hope what I'm showing you guys, it's interesting enough to overcome my talking. Hey, three viewers. Well, that's what it says to me. And maybe I have more. Well, welcome to the new viewers. Feel free to leave something in the chat. Uh, but you don't have to. I'm mostly doing this too. Well, I go for walks. Kind of to show Appleton. Morning. Kind of to just show Appleton and then also just to talk and get stuff out of my... To clear, you know, to defrag my brain, just to clear stuff out of my system. That's why I do this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If I know the answer, I'll answer you. And if I don't know the answer, I'll make something up. So, yeah. So, we're... Well, we're about to get to that trestle. Let's see if it's open. I mean, if not, I'll just go around and then we'll go through downtown Appleton. So, Appleton has a, mark, uh, a farmer's market every Saturday morning in, uh, on College Avenue, which is the the main avenue or the downtown the main avenue in downtown appleton so i think what i'm going to do is that whether the trestle is open or not i'll turn around and go that way and walk through the farmers farmers market and then people will really think i'm weird i'll make sure that i say out loud that i'm on leah lopez's dad and that she's be going to hardenville high school next year and that way everybody knows who i am so I'm still walking through the... Morning. Morning. It's the, the Fox Valley, Fox Trot Trail. So let's see, it's coming up here, the new place that I was talking about. It'll be interesting if... All right, so I'm gonna try something. Marco sent me...